lot of people think quantum mechanics is total bull**t. Let's discuss. It has come to our attention that there are some folks in our audience for whom quantum mechanics is spooky, mysterious, even seemingly incomprehensible. Today, I am here to quell those fears and assumptions and convince you that there are many parts of quantum mechanics that are not mysterious, and we actually understand them really, really well. It's actually one of the most rigorously tested theories in all of physics. In fact, we understand it so well that it is at the heart of much of our current technology and it has already profoundly changed the world. Media outlets, journalists, and scientists often talk about quantum computing as a technology of the future. And to be clear, it's true that universal quantum computing is still a ways off. But quantum mechanics has already upended our technological landscape. Going off the comments of some of our recent videos, which are linked below, it seems to be a common misconception that quantum mechanics is a lot like, say, string theory. Possibly it's just pretty math, which scientists have thrown together and is useless to everyone else. Now, that is not to rag on string theorists, but string theory is pretty famous for being a mathematical model that has no direct evidence or even experiments that can support it. Not to say that it is useless, it's just not changing our daily lives, and it remains purely theoretical. But you know what isn't theoretical? Quantum mechanics. On a previous video, there were also numerous comments asking how it was different than theorists just theorizing about the physics of nature without any real proof. Basically, it could all just be total nonsense. And I get it, it's so counterintuitive at times. It seems like the most logical conclusion is to assume that someone somewhere has made a mistake and I welcome the chance to convince you that that is, in fact, not the case. First, let's talk about how accurate it is. Like I said, quantum mechanics is one of the most rigorously tested theories in all of science. Predictions it makes have been confirmed with phenomenal accuracy. Quantum electrodynamics, which is a relativistic theory of quantum mechanics, has been able to predict atomic properties up to 12 significant digits. That's like measuring the distance from here, the surface of the Earth, to the surface of the Moon, with the precision that of less than the width of a human hair. But chances are you are not a quantum electrodynamics experimentalist, so maybe that seems a little too unfamiliar. So let's discuss technology that you use on a daily basis that only works thanks to quantum mechanics. First. Mm. No, mm, not that. The computer that you are watching me on right now. Now, I don't want to confuse everybody. The computer you are watching me on right now is very much a classical computer, but the semiconductor technology that is used in diodes and transistors in all modern computers is rooted in quantum principles, and these are an indispensable part of the computer. When the first transistor was created, inventors didn't fully understand the underlying physics. They just understood that semiconductors were special. And now we know that that is because of quantum mechanics. Without quantum mechanics to calculate the electronic structure of the materials, like the diodes and transistors, we would be poking around in the dark trying to figure out which materials would be good for building computer chips. Today's computers and phones would not exist without the discovery and the application of quantum mechanics. Next. No. How about the laser? If you find yourself on Jeopardy, you should know that laser is an acronym meaning light amplification by stimulated admission of radiation. Quantum mechanics tells us that the light that is admitted from the cavity is only because electrons may take on discrete energy positions inside atomic orbitals, and when stimulated are able to be concentrated into millions of photons, or light packets, with the same color and coherence. And lasers are used in just about everything, from healthcare to law enforcement, machinery, even EDM festivals. If, like me, you don't have a good sense of direction, you will be comforted to know that the GPS in your phone or navigation device is using quantum mechanics. Each GPS satellite contains atomic clocks used to measure precise time data. An atomic clock is a clock that measures time by monitoring the resonant frequency of atoms. And quantum physics tells us that atoms, again, have these discrete energy levels, and transitions between these states produce very specific frequencies. 
when GPS receivers decode these signals, effectively synchronizing to these clocks, it allows users to determine the time to within a hundredth billionths of a second. This is equivalent to being off by only one second every 10 million years. Thanks to atomic clocks, we can get very accurate directions and hopefully prevent us from all getting lost, but that's not all. Major companies worldwide use GPS to timestamp business transactions, which help maintain records and ensure their traceability. They also allow meteorologists to synchronize reporting of hazardous weather to give the most accurate predictions. At a fundamental level, everything is quantum and always has been. We discovered it decades ago, and now we are finally able to harness it. Quantum computing is just the next step in the historic timeline of applied quantum mechanics. It remains an incredible challenge to be sure, but this is not because we don't understand how to use quantum mechanics. You can argue that maybe nobody really understands what happens to a quantum system when a measurement is made, and that's true, and that answer is worth pursuing, but it doesn't mean we're going to stop and wait or that we even need to understand this in order to push forward. A scientific theory is only considered established once numerous tests to try and disprove it have all failed. And this is why you can't brush aside quantum mechanics and say we don't really understand it, scientists really don't know what they're talking about. Thousands of experiments tested quantum mechanics. Thousands. And it has a perfect track record. It has never failed. Quantum physics is arguably the greatest intellectual triumph in the history of science and is at the heart of both present and future technology. And the more people that understand it, the more people will be able to create the technology of the future, and the better off we all will be. And it's probably a lot easier to understand than you might think.